tell me where we are. Just outside in the Pezna, Alaska. And tell us what we're doing here. We're on our adult sheep hunt. And how many days? Seven days. Who are we staying with? Cole Ellis. He's the outfitter? He's the outfitter. And who's the guy? The guy is Jeff Miller. And how are you going to get up there? Fly a little uh, super cup up to the top of the mountain. You excited? I am excited. You leave tonight, right? I have no idea. <laughs> it's either tonight or tomorrow morning. Where'd we fly into? Anchorage. And how long have we been on the road? I have no idea. Four hours? Four or five hours? Where were you? Where were you going? That's why I'm still trying to get a little bit out of the glass. I'm still trying to get out of the glass. Is the app shut down? Builds them? Builds them, yeah. From he scratch? this one from scratch. Oh boy. These others are a rebuild that we've done, but that one he, he built up. He made, so that's the standard super cub that they use up here. So he actually took a fuselage and split it in half and made a four place out of it. That's the difference in this, and that's why he's called it the Hulk, because mm -hmm. he's got it so big your engine in it. More powerful. It's more, yeah, it's a really powerful machine. You'll tell when he takes off. Yeah. So how far out there? Like, okay, you see that ice way up there? You come over here, you can see a little better. Okay, as far as you can see on the right side, looking up, we're about another 15 miles past that. Okay. And then higher up. Wow. Just wow. Get out of the way. Okay. Bye, baby.
So I'm sitting here at the hunting lodge up here at Nebesna. Miles took off in a little bush plane with Cole and Kirk uh, uh, probably two hours ago, something like that. There's nothing to worry about at all. I'm just a worry ward. <laughs> Watching that green plane take off, it had so much power. And it's such a small plane that it like literally went sideways. Like it's literally took off with so much power that it was skidding sideways before it got air and took off. It's like, I don't know, 10 o'clock, which makes it midnight where I'm from. And hope that Miles is up on the mountain and doing really well and excited. And it sounds like base camp was, is, was gonna be really nice. I heard that they had cots and tents and they took water and Probably had enough gear, he should be okay. And hope that he takes some pictures or some video for us because I'm really curious what's going on up there in the next few days. So I'll show you around the lodge in the morning. So day two of Miles' hunt, I am day two at the lodge, it rained all night, um, a lot of rain, and it's just socked in fog here. The outfitter is um, trying to be patient, waiting to go up in his plane, he wants to check his camps, check on his people, evidently he flies out there several times a day.
So here's Miles and I right now. We hiked up on top of the castle. And we were just trying to work our way over to look at the upper bench of the castle right over there. And these four rams popped out down there. And the one on the far left is a butte. And the one on the far right is a double broom. But these are some nice rams. Really, really. Ah, 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 ah. Yep, he's dead. He's dead. That's perfect shot. He's dead. Just keep your gun on him. Yep. He's dead. Perfect shot, brother. Perfect shot. I think I might have been holding the camera off of him. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I got him flopping. I think I might have been holding it. Holy cow. Wow. That's a view, brother. Holy cow. Well, I hope you get him through the minute. So this is uh, still day two. This is uh, nine o'clock, uh, day two of Miles' hunt. And we got radio confirmation earlier that Miles actually went and got his sheep today. He had seven days to get this sheep and he gets him on the second day. Of course, you know, overachiever. Um, evidently it was a very, very, very big sheep. And it was in this portion of the range they call I think they call it the castle, which not just anybody can hike to. Like, it is a very severe hike. And uh, they got it a couple hours ago, and they're going to hike hike back to camp, base camp, with a sheep tonight. And evidently that's a... I'm just, you know, secondhand understanding all this. But uh, they had their tent and everything. They had a, a packed camp on hiking this because they thought that they'd have to stay up there on that side of the mountain that night tonight but they got the sheep early so they're going to pack all that stuff and the sheep back which evidently is a pretty big deal so we'll get to see miles and the guide and the sheep um in the morning cole's gonna fly up first thing tomorrow about i said probably about seven um and see if they can if they're ready to roll but I thought I'd give you a little tour of this pretty cool spot here. And uh, man, I'm going to catch some sleep. I've been up John with Cole and Christy. And they, they got some pretty dang cool stories. They've been in Alaska a long time. The second generation of this, of guiding and hunting and outfitting. And all the different things that have changed over the years. And it's just real neat. So let me give you a tour.
early morning and Cole and Kirk just took off to go and get Miles and Jeff and the sheep. They were gonna wait till a little later in the day, see if the weather was gonna get better, but it's looking like it's definitely going to start raining. So they wanted to make sure they got up there and got them down today. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. So what's your blank? What were they made out of? Like bamboo or?
Christy's making breakfast. It, sound, it sounds, it smells so good in there. Um, she just stepped outside and said, I think I feel them coming. That she has a sixth sense for knowing when the airplanes are around. I can't see them or hear them yet, but it, she says I should be able to hear them pretty soon. I can go out there? Good morning. Just got gear or you got a husband in there?